Jacob. Four to eight for the win. Yes, <laughs> check it out. So this is what happens after more decay has occurred and the bones you can see yeah, either one. there's sediment Again. covering the bones entirely or they've been um, they've been more decayed themselves. Cool. Score. How does this compare in size to the one that you saw before? It's hard to tell because a lot of this is under sediment. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you without getting a, a better zoomed out view. Um, okay. It, it looks older to me. This area and where we found the other whale fall was is in the migratory path for a lot of whales that migrate uh, up and down the west coast of the United States. Okay. Between British Columbia, uh, British Columbia and, and even further north and then down into Baja in the winter time. You, you care to hazard a guess on how old this um, skeleton might be? Oh, I have no idea. That question keeps some. Um, yeah. <laughs> Not a clue. I'd say it's been here for quite a while, and most of the bones have decayed and been broken down, and a lot of the skeleton's missing. So I would say uh, quite a while. Kyle, there's a question about whether the two big bones at the end of the spine are like cheekbones of the head. It looks to me like it's part of the skull. Um, it could be part of the lower jaw as well. Um, okay that we're seeing, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know, because we're not seeing a lot of the ribs structure, so yeah. it, it looks like the front half of the skeleton is not there, and mostly what we're seeing is the, is the tail uh, portion, um, and this might be the equivalent of like hip bones. We are in still probably pretty low oxygen water, right? I'm guessing that uh -huh. seems like it's been kind of low the whole... Yeah, so oxygen, yep. it's a little higher, it's a 10 micromolar, but considering that the oxygen could be like 250, so this water is pretty low, it that probably also means it's pretty acidic, the CO2 is going to be high, and therefore the pH is going to be low. So just based on, on what Sean was saying about the whale fall off of San Diego being cleaned completely in, in five years or less, maybe this isn't as old as, as we think, because if these bones are calcium carbonate, they're either calcite or apatite, one of the two. Both of those should dissolve. Oh. Yep. Bones do decalcify and erode pretty easily. Who knows? So that 15, means the other one years. was really fresh. Yeah. It's yeah. hard to tell, too, because uh, without knowing exactly what communities come around here, I don't know how quickly they can clear out a carcass. So is the consensus that it's longer than the previous one? Skeleton overall? Uh, I think it's a little bit larger. But I, I think it is too, but it's, again, it's, it's hard to say. I was going mostly just by the size of the vertebrae mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. um, they seem a little bit larger in diameter. That was a couple of days ago. So, would it, you want to get a close up of the vertebrae? Would that be useful? Yeah, that'd be great yeah. if we could get a close up of the vertebrae with some lasers on them, please. Yeah. Yeah. To people just tuning in, that's a we've just happened on another uh, whale skeleton. This is the second one in three days, I think. So, kind of remarkable, really. It is really remarkable. Although, as Kyle was pointing out, we are tra we are transecting back and forth over. A, um, whale mig migration route, um, and yeah, I think the consensus uh, is that we th that uh, based on the acidity of seawater as compared to air, bones will dissolve more quickly, you know, underwater as compared with um, if you found a similar skeleton, say, in the desert or or on, or on land. So whereas we first maybe we're thinking this was a pretty old skeleton because it's such an advanced state of decay that that may not necessarily be true yeah uh, viewers at home can replicate this experiment by getting like a beaker and water and putting like one of those shells you can buy from a craft store it has to be a real shell and then all you have to do is raise the ph of whatever liquid uh, you have inside the jar and you can eventually dissolve that shell yeah. all right so we'll go ahead and get underway again um, yeah, is there any reason that we shouldn't, I mean, is, is uh, from the standpoint of taking a, a bone sample, is there any reason that we sh like, that we might want to consider doing that, just for the, from the standpoint of biological interest? 
So it's <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not hearing I mean, a lot of dissension. Uh, I feel like